Hey there, welcome to another video. In this one, I'm going to show you how you can bring files from an Azure Blob storage container into an R script. Here I've got my container called container1, and I've got three CSV files. And I want to bring these into my R script without having to download them first onto my local computer, then reload them into my R script. We're going to set this up in a way where these CSVs will come straight into R as data frames. Basically, what I want to do is load them into my R script and then turn them into one large data frame. Let's jump over to Visual Studio Code. That's the editor I'm going to use to write this R script. And I've got a set of comments here that outline what the script needs to do. So we're going to go through these sections one by one and fill in some code. And we'll start with the libraries that we need. For this script, R needs to connect to Azure, and there's a package already made for doing that called Azure Store. So the first thing we want to do is get the library Azure Store. I've already installed it, so install that first if you don't already have it. The next thing we need if we're going to access those blob files in our Azure container is some Azure credentials. Those credentials we need are account URL, account key, and container. So I'll show you where to get each of those from Azure. So if we go back to Azure in our browser and we want to get our account URL first, currently we're in the container, container one. Let's go up one level. Then you have all these options down the left here. I'm going to go down to settings and endpoint. And here you can see endpoints for all sorts of different Azure services. I'm using the blob service. So I want this URL to be my account URL. Now the next thing to get is the account key. And I can get to that by coming back to the left here, clicking on access keys. And then either one of these keys, key one or key two, I can show and then copy. And that's what we'll use as our account key variable. Then the last thing to get is our container variable, which we've already seen. I can just come up here on the left, click containers, and there it is, container one. That's gonna be our container variable. Now I can come back to VS Code and fill in those credentials. And then I can use those credentials to connect to my blob storage account. So to do that, I'm gonna use the storage endpoint function, which is part of the Azure Store library. And that takes in an endpoint variable, which is our account URL, and a key, which is our account key. And that goes into the variable blob. Now that we have that connection, we can connect to our container called container one by using the storage container command that also comes within the Azure Store library. And it takes an endpoint, which is blob, which is what we previously created and name, which is the name of our container, which we have stored as the container variable. Next, we can access the files within our container using the list storage files command, which takes our container as an input. And now's a good time to give this code a test run. So I'll hit run up here, and you can see all my variables on the left. I'm gonna have a look at files just by clicking on the preview button. And I can see that it's managed to find all the files within my blob storage container. So we're doing well so far. Now I have these file names, I can start loading the data from those files into this R script. I'm gonna start by creating an empty list. And when I load these CSV files into my R script as data frames, I'm gonna put those data frames into this list. So this will be a list of data frames. Now I'll iterate through that data frame using a for loop where I is basically the row in this data frame. So for each row I, I want to read in a CSV using the storage read CSV command, which comes from the Azure store library. This command takes in our container where the file is stored and a file name. And file name is just this entry here coming from the name column and we're iterating through them one at a time. Then I'm gonna append the output data frame DF into our list of data frames. And I'll end that loop there. And so now the last thing that I need to do is just combine this list of data frames into a single data frame. And I can do that using the rbind function, which will bind two data frames together. We can pass our list of data frames to rbind by doing do.call. So this creates a data frame DFL, which contains the data frame from each separate CSV combined into one master data frame. And so we can test that's worked. I'm gonna come up here, hit run. Now that's finished running, I can see some new variables over here on the left. DF would be the last CSV file that got read into the code. I can have a look at that by hitting the view button. And yep, that looks like the CSV data that I expected. DFE all would be the combined three CSVs into one data frame. So I can have a look at that. And yes, that looks like what I expected too. So that's worked. Thanks for watching and I hope that helped.